mniwachie mimi eh hiyo mniwachie kazi ya kuchunga rais mimi ndiko hapo hiyo watu wakijaribu kukaribia state house nimeweka miteko kila njia wanaweza pitia hakuna pahali wanaweza pitia kwa hivyo nyinyi msikuwe na wasiwasi kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme asanti kwa ile maombi mlitupatia welcome ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your great support always i usually don't take it for granted kenyans what next for kalonzo msioka as already it is evidential that there is a cooperation work in between the Raila Odinga ODM and the UDA Kenya Kwanza coalition as you speak earlier on regarding Shagwa said very clear that he was going to ensure that no one was going to be close to William Ruto as per the opposition is so concerned today as we speak zile mitego we uh, regarding the shagwa aliweka status has failed another thing that i want you to understand is that william ruto his appointment this time round is politically significant as we speak it is not about the government of national unity it is about 2027 and that is what william ruto is working for and if you are very keen you can clearly even revisit what william ruto say that rail dinga ali leta shida wakati serikali ya moi wakaingia wakakuwa na cooperation work at that time rail dinga was given the secretary general of kano As you speak William Ruto told Raila Odinga and the opposition at wale nyata wakaleta shida in between the government of Kibaki and Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta wakapata handshake and so for him he was not going to accept any kind of mkatenusu government waliletea fujo moi mpaka wakapata cooperation wakakuja wakasumbua Kibaki mpaka wakachukua nusu mkate wamekuja wakazungusha uhuru hapo mpaka waenda na handshake program yetu ikapotea BBI ikaendelea tukazama tukaingia kwa madeni sasa mimi nimewaambia hii serikali hii mimi nawaambia hii serikali ni ya mahasla hakuna nusu mkate hakuna handshake hakuna hiyo borojo hawa wananchi walimali at the same time the man william samoe ruto see kwamba wanaenda kukalia hiyo opposition ngumu na wale ambao wanaleta shida na kunyata kwamba wapewe positions hawezi pata as we speak you can clearly see how now the opposition are going to enjoy in the government of the day in other words the government plus opposition they are together but william ruto alisema atakalie hii watu ngumu what happened na tumewaambia ile vitisho walikuwa naye ati ndio wapate serikali nusu mkate haitafanyika tena ewezekani sijui kama tunaelewana na hawa watu nitawakalia ngumu ah bana bana ah bana <laughs> Ah bana bana bana. Ah ah ndio? Kwani mtu ambaye anataka kuharibu biashara ya mwingine anapembelezwa? Ah bana bana. Ni tawakalia ngumu sana hiyo watu wa kwendi. Sijui kama tumeelewana jameni. Nekuo. Nekuo. Ni dhurai kuidhania. Tunakubaliana. Hiyo ndio barabara. Si kila mtu afanye biashara jameni. Sisi tungangane tutafutie hawa vijana ajira tupange biashara tupange uchumi Kenya iende mbele so the question we are trying to ask as we speak what next for kalonzo msioka because clearly you can tell the appointment of william ruto is based to the next general election 2027 and i know 
bigger percentage of Kenyans will not see. You will see this come 2027. Now, William Ruto, his government of national unity is to ensure that another presidency is going to be delivered 2027. And so the appointment of people like Hassan Joe, it is political state. Akeno Paranya from ODM, from Western, it is critical state. Akina John Badi and Opio Wandai is critical state. And for you to see it like it is the government of national unity, but William Ruto is busy planning for 2022. I don't know if you're seeing whatever William Ruto is doing. His calculation is about 2027. And so the election of 2022, Ili Isha Ivo, is a matter of So he, it is a coalition government that is going to be prepared under William Ruto and Raila Amolo Odinga. Then what next for Rikadi Gashago again? Because already, yes, the mountain wamepewa some positions in the government which I cannot deny. But again, this is something that is going to complicate regarding Gashagwa's politics going forward, I'm telling you. And the same as Kalonzo Musioka. So we are just very keen watching how they are going to gamble their politics because eventually you cannot convince me that this is not political. It is political. You like it, you don't like it. I might be wrong or, wrong or right. The truth is, these people are playing for 2027. Because they will be told, yes, I can adjourn body, yes. I can appear on I yes. You must support the government of the day so that you can retain those positions. The same Tijo will rally the coastal together with the people like Mvuria, Akina Amazon King, they will rally the coastal behind William Ruto. When it comes to Western, Wetangula, Mudavani, and Oparanya, they are going to rally the Western behind William Ruto. Raila Odinga, if possible, he will, if he gets the position of AU, what will they be able to say? They will say, so no one AU to my part, to go CSS Mili Hapa, please let us vote for William Ruto. So if I'm saying that it is political 2027 state money, some people are thinking that I'm lying. You just wait for this space. Wait for this space. This is the plan that these people are having. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.